into fluidity and mobility with Mallory. This is your dentist stretch and strengthen video for today. So this one is all helping us with our hip extension. So we'll be really working on hip flexors, quads, and hamstring strengthening. Um, it's so good. Uh, this, these kinds of moves are especially important for working on our front splits. Um, that's what the back leg does is it's in hip extension as well as pretty much anything in dance and pull or aerials where our leg is extending to the back. So it's very, very helpful uh, exercises for you today. So uh, as usual, we have a mix of some strengthening stuff and then some stretching stuff. So I will start our music. Get going. So starting on all fours, a little bit of a tuck with the tailbone so that our back is staying nice and flat. And we're just going to do eight leg lifts each side to the back. Really think about squeezing your bum. You might start to feel a stretch through the front of the hip. And try to keep the hips as even as you can. Other side. So up next, we're gonna be doing donkey kicks. Um, you can do this one if you want with a block what held between your heel and your leg or something like a um, tennis ball or nothing at all. So what we're doing now, we'll be doing five of these on each side is you're thinking about pulling your heel towards your bum and lifting the leg up. And you should feel this in your hamstring as well as in your hand and your butt. Of course. And same thing, so pulling the heel towards the bum and lifting the leg up. Excellent. From here, let's turn over onto our back. Hugging one leg in towards our chest. We are going to squeeze our bum and push up, up, up into a single leg root bridge and lower. Same thing for five. Excellent. Now putting both feet on the ground, I want you to push all the way up into your glute bridge and then lift one leg up. It's the same leg you just lifted. And hold. And lower. And other leg. Hugging into the chest. Squeezing the bum. Lifting up. our baby lunge. So each leg is at 90. Tucking the tailbone under, hands on our leg, rounding our back, pushing our hips forward. So you should feel this coming through the quad and up through the hip flexor. Good. So now you're staying all on this side and then we'll switch. So from here, we're going to walk the leg out, tuck the toes, lift up, 
Hands are going to be on one side of the leg. So same side as the leg that's extending back. And then we're just going to rock back and forth. You're thinking about almost trying to sit this hip down onto the ground. Squeezing the bum. Excellent. So from here, sitting up, dropping the knee down to the ground, and now we're going to squeeze through and left and lower for five. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice and controlled. Coming out. And switch legs. Just gonna make sure of the extra padding on my knee that's not so happy. So, baby lunge position, table and tucking forward, rounding the back, pushing that hip forward. Good. Coming into our low lunge. Tucking the toes. Rocking back and forth. Thinking about that hip trying to drop to the ground for eight. Good. Squeezing the bum, knee down, and lift for five. Excellent. Good. That one on that side always gets me. So, now coming into just more of our um, static stretches, making a partial 90-90 position. So only our side leg is going to be a little bit more forward, so our foot is coming in line with our hip. We are leaning back, thinking about pressing the leg forward, pulling the heel towards the bum. Um, the more you come down to the ground, the more you'll feel. You might feel this a little bit more in your quad than your hip flexor. And other side, and you can lie right down on the ground. You can squeeze the bum, push this hip forward. Ooh, feeling that quad today. Excellent. So this next one, you're going to need a yoga block or a foam roller or something similar. This is similar to a single leg glute bridge, but just helping us to target our hamstring a little bit differently. So you want it to be kind of on like your calf to the lower part of your knee. Our other leg is up, and then you're squeezing your bum and trying to lift your bum up off the ground. So you can push into the block and lift. If your bum is just becoming light and not lifting up off the ground, that is totally fine. This is really for trying to help strengthen our upper hamstring. So for five.
that's direct because ooh, I was definitely staring at a light. So one leg is coming underneath. You don't want your knee at any point in time to start lifting up off the ground. Pushing your hips forward. Your other foot, you're up on the ball of the foot or on your foot nice and flat. Squeezing the bum, pushing the hips up. Thinking about pressing the knee into the ground. Good, and switch. So you're really thinking about pressing that whole leg into the ground. Kind of like you're kicking it back into a wall. Excellent. So finishing up with just a little bit of sort of a pigeon exercise. So we're gonna be starting in what is a comfortable half straddle for you. From here, hands are gonna go on the side of our bent leg and we're gonna rotate over into our pigeon. And then rotate back. And I'm going for five of these. Here. So this is just helping us roll through a little bit of our um, rotation and then into extension. And switch. Hands over for five. Always have one side that this feels way better on than the other. Awesome. So now we're going to actually go into pigeon. If you need to, you can take and sit on a block or a folded up towel. Um, ideally, your pigeon position has your leg out straight, well, your foot straight out from your knee and your leg back. Um, that is not in the realm of your mobility. Don't worry about it. That foot can come in lower. And like I said, if you need to, you can have something to sort of sit your butt down on. And then staying up straight as you can, we're just going to hold. So you're squeezing your bum. If you want a little bit extra, you can think about straightening all the way through the knee. Good. And other side.